Veer, top of the key to the free throw line for Blakely. Blakely ducks through Valadares. Hands it off for Field and throws it down with a two-handed jam. Well, he's not going to have his career high in scoring, but Evan Field is playing sensationally. Takes the charge and then throws down a dunk to give the Catamounts a 49-33 lead with five minutes and six seconds left to go in the ballgame. Mojo top of the key. You feel that there's one big shot for the Catamounts. Yep. Garvey Young takes it on the baseline, skips it to Veer. This could be it. 4-3 on the wing. God! That was just what the doctor ordered. 52-33. Catamounts have the lead. 3-13 left to go. Time winds down right now. There's three minutes left to go in the ballgame. Nick Veer with the basketball, looking to break the pressure. Gets across half court, lobs it to Blakely, top of the arc. Blakely just protects it and hands it back off for Nick Veer. Veer surveys the situation from just inside half court and with a right-handed waist-high dribble, comes to the near side. Nothing fancy, nothing silly. Free throw line for Fjeld. Kicks it back out for Mojo. Bounce pass near side for Veer in three. It's good! Two huge three-pointers from precisely the same spot. Nick Veer in triplicate twice, 55-36 with 2.25 left to go. Abreu, top of the key, Cats lead 57-38. Abreu into the lane, little leaner, no good, he shorted it. Blakely chases down the rebound into the corner and it's Garvey Young who comes away with it. One minute and 10 seconds left to go in the ball game. The Patrick Faithful, who have come south to make Chase Family Arena their own, rise to their feet in a standing ovation. The chant is UVM. Nick Veer, a pair of critical three-pointers from the near side wing. Swings it to Mojo, now to Garvey, who glances at the clock. To Mojo, inside the arc, free throw line, jumper no good, rebound bandied about four, and gotten by Garvey Young. A fresh 35. With 36 seconds left to play in the ball game, a quick 30-second timeout. Coach Lonergan, full-scale line change. Get the starters out. An outstanding defensive performance. Just great. Veer, Blakely, Fjeld, Young, Joseph, all head to the bench. Bergman, Kissel, Bald, Akui, and Marsalis into the ball game. Five second difference between the shot and game clock. Akui crosses the timeline with a big smile on his face. Dribbles waist high, no pressure is coming. And he threw it off the foot of Colby Santos and out of bounds. Brendan Bald will inbound from just in front of the broadcast perspective. And, you know, I think New Hampshire trying to do that trap. I'm not certain the coaching staff was a part of that decision. Coach Arian just kind of standing there watching things unfold. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Akui eyes it and hands it to Kissel. Kissel. Will take the 20, 30 second, 35 second violation and give New Hampshire back the basketball. Well, New Hampshire doesn't have a lot of 19-point plays, so that was probably a good choice. A brew for three. Front of the rim and no good. Santos with the rebound and put back. It won't roll home. The buzzer sounds. The ball game is over. Prep Patrick Gymnasium. The America East Championship will be played there next Saturday against the Boston University Terriers. An absolutely phenomenal defensive performance. Coach Lonergan has gotten 100 wins or more at Vermont with a philosophy key to de- team defense and to win the semifinal conference game by allowing New Hampshire to score just 38 points. Just an outstanding team defense. 57-38, the final score, the Catamounts. Applauding their fans and applauding their crowd. As their crowd gives it right back to them. One more chance to soak in this crowd as the Catamounts leave the court. Pat Bergman with a fist pump. Ben Krenko with hand claps over the head. A mutual admiration between this team and its fans that is deeper than none other. Smart, tough, quality basketball. 
Catamounts win by a final of 57-38 and will host the America East Championship. Back with more after this on the Cooperative Insurance Catamount Basketball Radio Network.